I am Adam Savage, unemployed explosives expert, maker, editor-in-chief of Tested.com and former host of Mythbusters, AMA. Hey Adam, what's something about you that we don't know? One of my all-time favorite movies is The Philadelphia Story. If you had to add one person, dead or alive, to the Mythbusters team, who do you think would be best suited for the job? Simone Gertz. Hey Adam, how is progress going on the Martian suit? Slowly, sorry about that. Hey Adam, I loved the collaboration between you and Alton Brown, since you two were literally my childhood role models. How was it working with him? Alton is the best, he's hilarious, he's just as funny as you want and a bit darker. Hey, Adam, what are your essential cheap tools that everyone should own, and what are some that you feel need to be higher quality in order to be worth bothering with? Great question. Everyone should have a multi-tool, everyone should have something akin to the iFixit bit kit, to be able to take apart anything. Tools that are crap until you spend dollar sign, air powered rivet gun, don't waste your time on the $30 one, spot welder, nippers, go ahead and invest in a set of Nipex nippers. The last pair you'll ever need. What's IT like to work with Simone Jeerts? Sincerely, somebody else than Simone. She's a force of nature. Love her and her output. She's just as nice as you hope she is. Hi Adam. I recently discovered my college has its own makerspace and club complete with 3D printers, a laser cutter, and a woodworking shop. The only thing that it's missing is, makers. What would be the best way to get people interested in a makerspace? That's the question. The best way is to show them obsessive builds by others. Wake that part of the brain up that says I've always wanted X. Maybe I could make it myself. Also sharing the build log methods goes a long way to helping people understand that it's not beyond them to problem solve. What's the coolest piece of science fiction you could see becoming a reality in the next 5-10 years? A driverless cars. Have you ever worn Jamie's hat? I've held it. That's enough for me. Hi Adam. Like everybody else, I love Tested and the work you're doing to jumpstart making. I'm a maker of music, or noise, and I was wondering who you listen to on your drive to the shop or while you're working or just to decompress. Thanks for being such a huge inspiration to me. I also can't get enough of Justin Timberlake's song Mirrors. Such good pop. My kids make fun of me and say I have the musical taste of a 14 year old girl. I'm okay with that. What was the scariest thing you ever did on Mythbusters? The second underwater cast sunt. I'm about to take my last physics test of the semester. Any words of advice? X equals 8. So my question for you is, is there any myth that you wanted to do but didn't have the right technology? If so, do you think it'll ever be possible to test it? I've started tweeting myths I wish I could have gotten to. Under the hashtag MythsyWorldsDelicatoTest. Like the Roomba that went over someone's dog's poop and covered the whole house with a poopocalypse. We would totally have tested which type of stool would yield the worst scenario. Also cat vomit. Hi Adam. Can't remember if you've ever answered this before but have you ever worked with the slow-mo guys? They've done here a lot of really cool stuff filming things in super slow motion. The company they are a part of is also doing a really cool series called Immersion. Trying out things from video games in real life and seeing how easy difficult they are. I haven't yet, but I love their work. Hoping to do something with them someday. Hey Adam, how are you doing today? Well it was a bit of a rush to start but I'm okay now. I got to the shop a little early and sorted tools so now I feel normal. Thanks for asking. Hello Adam. I am looking to get into creating making. But over the years I've been doing things that could fit under making. Or hobbyism. I've had tons of fun. But never really gotten all that good at anything or creative enough to come up with something really undone before. Now that my two daughters are getting older. 3 and 6 and have both been to the NY Maker Fair, and love science and making things and such, I'm looking to get back in. What kind of resources can you recommend to a 37 year old father that can also potentially be useful in some way to the girls? We do have a pie, and some of the toy making engineering stuff. Cardboard. You can make literally anything out of cardboard. Ask them their ideal costume and help them make it so. Hi Adam. I often find myself working on multiple projects at once, 
Sadly some end up on the shelf for a while. Does this happen to you? What do you do to alleviate it? I have a whole wall of uncompleted projects. That's the nature of things. It's okay. I get to everything eventually. My alien space suit took 10 years. Do you still get to hang out with Jamie? I don't see Jamie much since we stopped filming. But we still do appearances together on occasion. We did one in Connecticut last this month. Otherwise, I'm really busy working on Tested.com and my new tour and Jamie is very happy being out of the public eye. Working on secret projects with mysterious clients. Pretty much what you'd expect from the Hyman. He and I still talk about the same things when we're together. Tools we just found out about. Technologies we're both interested in. Drones. High torque motors. And projects we are working on. Been having that convo with him in one form or another since 1994. Hi Adam, my 3 year old son is a humongous fan of yours. He's bright and very interested in science and engineering. Christmas is coming and I was wondering what toys you had as a kid that helped foster your lifetime love of science. Or if there are any toys on the market today that you would recommend? Thanks. In and out or five guys or something completely different. Favorite burger is a jardiniere in San Francisco. The owner, Tracy Des Jardins is a friend so clear conflict of interest on my part. And lately she's been serving the impossible burger. All plant proteins. Which is insanely delicious. Serious. They serve it at the bar. Go try one. Do you still frequent Reddit after that whole fiasco with people making fun of your fan that takes a picture with you every year? Yes. Sigh, Reddit, like the web in general, is a mix of the high and low, the good and bad. When it's bad it feels like middle school at its worst. I think the general tone of discourse on the Reddit that I see is getting better rather than worse. That keeps me coming. I also spend lots of time on Metafilter as a salve to Reddit's baser instincts. Seriously who makes fun of a 13 year old girl? Remember being 13? It sucked ass for all of us. Why make it worse? Mr. Savage, what is the feeling you get from blowing something up that you worked so hard building creating for Mythbusters? What was the highest amount of explosives used, terms of poundage, on the show? Last ep, 5001 pounds of anfo, big boom. Dear Mr. Savage F, is there any way someone can make a hobby job out of explosives without a bunch of qualifications and such? Now before anyone thinks I'm mental and or a terrorist, I'm a tinkerer. I like building stuff, disassembling stuff, reverse engineering stuff and inventing stuff. Ever since I put a can of hairspray on a bonfire and got a huge fireball I've also been intrigued by explosives. Now obviously I don't make bombs in my spare time. Closest I got was took the innards of a bunch of boxes of fun snaps, put them in a sandwich bag and sealed it. That made a loud bang. I'd love to play with bombs and seeing what is and isn't explosive, responsibly of course, and if there's any hobbies surrounding bomb making, so is there any avenues I can take without retraining that you know of, or am I already on a watch list by the grace of this comment? Yours most faithfully, sus I am drunk. This is the best, Homeland Security is on its way. Hi Adam, I'm a huge fan, the idea of writing something you might actually see is slightly intimidating. Thank you for the enthusiasm you bring to all of your projects and all of the knowledge that you have shared with the maker community through Tested. My question is how do you balance your creative projects when you aren't working or on tour with being a husband and father? My wife and I have her 18 month old. She has a busy schedule due to her career, so we try to all be together whenever she is free. On weekends when she has work, I watch our son. While I love spending time with both of them, I also can't help but feel like I don't have time for many creative projects. I know as my son gets older I can start getting him involved in projects with me, but for now I feel like my workshop is gathering dust. Yeah, that happens. The balance between work and home and family is really tough. It gets easier when the kids get older to be sure. For me, sample size of one. I find it works best when I don't think of the shop as stealing time. The consciousness around the shop work is vital to maintaining the balance. Hi Adam, you talked on the still untitled podcast about saying, I have no business making things to yourself. 
Are there any specific methods you want to share about boosting your self-esteem or confidence, both short and long term? Well, the first step is was to understand that it's just part of the mechanism. That is, that feeling crappy about doing what I do will occur from time to time but doesn't define me. Then it's about pushing past the lack of desire to do anything about it. How does one do that? For me with any project there's a list of, let's say, 10 things at any given point I know should happen. When I'm feeling really down that might descend to only one thing, or even half a thing. That is, I can't really see how to proceed and my usual intuition is in the toilet. So I gingerly proceed with that half a thing until things start to normalize. Or I go home and recoup and just be okay with not feeling awesome. That's okay too. It's a huge question you're actually asking and it's somewhat of a disservice for me to try and answer in a couple of paragraphs but that's what works for me. Hope it helps. Hey Adam, what do you miss most about Mythbusters? My crew, and also the driving myths. How was it working with Michael Stevens? Love working with Michael. He talks just like he does in the videos, so that when he's handing you a coffee or talking over lunch, you half expect to do a very deep dive into what it's all about. I love the collaboration. Hi, Adam. I see that you're a Heiyo Miyazaki fan from some of your Comic Con cosplay, No Face and Totoro. Which Miyazaki movie is your favorite? Spirited Away. Holy crap I love that movie. Hey Adam, I'm a big fan of your one day builds on tested. I think it's because I see a lot of myself in the way you work. One problem that I frequently have is getting caught up in the energy of building so much that organization goes completely out the window. Any tips for keeping the enthusiasm while also being organized? It's a battle between present me and future me. Present me would like to go home without sweeping up. Future me knows that he'll thank past me for cleaning up and leaving the shop ready for the next morning. It's an ongoing conversation. I also love organizing. I spend at least an hour a day doing it, even in my house if not in my shop. Did you want to make things for a living as a kid? I mean was that the job you had in mind back then? Oh yes. First job I wanted was to design for Lego. I was 8. Hi Adam, I've been struggling with chronic fatigue syndrome for the past 3 years, and your tested builds and videos, as well as your TED talks, have inspired me to develop new interests in making and exploring. Even though I am physically limited by my illness, your creativity is electric and you have instilled in me a deep sense of hope and excitement for learning despite my current situation. Thank you for what you do. Sometimes I am overwhelmed by a sense of inadequacy in myself, that I am not well versed in art cinema, culture, etc. On your podcast you have talked about giving your children a well-rounded film education and you have mentioned the process you went through as a teenager discovering new things. To a 19 year old just entering adulthood, what advice do you have? What are some books, films, and experiences that set you on the path of exploration? You've got more time than you think. I'm glad you find solace and inspiration in my videos. Keep paying attention to the stuff you find yourself obsessed with. Read everything. At your age I was plowing through Vonnegut, Camus, Ellison, Le Guin, Heinlein, Kafka, Kundera, Marquez, Stanislaw Lem and others. You found my secret gold stash comment, gold for me, and you can have some, maybe. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.